This is the bald eagle. You might recognize this bird as the national emblem of the United States. You can find it in all 48 contiguous states, as well as Alaska, Canada, and even northern Mexico. The bald eagle is one of the world's many birds of prey, which are also called raptors. Raptors are recognizable by their hooked beaks, sharp talons for snatching up their prey, and large eyes that give them excellent vision. For instance, a golden eagle can spot a rabbit from two miles away. Besides eagles, raptors of the world include hawks, falcons, vultures, owls, and the one and only osprey. You can easily recognize owls and vultures, but eagles, hawks, falcons, and ospreys are built very similarly and might be hard to distinguish from one another. I'm Donald and this is my assistant, Bear. Let's take flight as we get to know the differences between these magnificent birds. Eagles are the largest and most powerful raptors. They tend to have thick beaks and big broad wings that give them maximum lift and help them soar through the air for long periods. Their calls are usually high-pitched screeches. There are about 60 different species of eagle alive today and they are divided into four groups. One group feeds mainly on fish, appropriately called fish or sea eagles. This group includes the bald eagle as well as the stellar sea eagle, which at 11 to 22 pounds is the largest eagle species. Next are the snake eagles, such as the short-toed snake eagle, which feed almost exclusively on reptiles. A third group, the forest eagles, are found in tropical forests. Members of this group include the harpy eagle and the crested eagle. The fourth and final group are the booted eagles. They earned their name from feathers that cover their legs, which make them look like they're wearing boots. One example is the tawny eagle. The next birds down in terms of size are the hawks. Their wings tend to be rounder and shorter than those of other raptors, while their tails are usually longer. About 250 species of hawks can be found today, and they are split into two groups. The accipitrine hawks, also known as true hawks, have lean bodies and live mainly in forests. They usually hunt their prey by making a sudden dash from a well-hidden perch. When they fly, they'll glide in between short, quick flaps of their wings. Examples include sparrowhawks and the sharp-shinned hawk. The other group are known as the boutionine hawks, which European viewers might know as buzzards. This term changes meaning in different regions, though. In the United States, the word buzzard is used more for vultures. Boutionine hawks have large, sturdy bodies and live mainly in open areas. Members of this group include the red-shouldered hawk, the European honey buzzard, and the ferruginous hawk. At 3.3 pounds, the last of these is the largest species of hawk in the world. The calls of hawks are generally hoarse screams, which they usually make while flying. Going further down the scale regarding size come the smallest raptors, the falcons, which number at 40 species, but don't let their size fool you. Falcons are the fastest and most agile raptors. Their wings tend to be long, narrow, and pointed, enabling them to swiftly change directions. 
Many species catch their prey by exhausting it after a long chase. Although falcons are generally smaller than eagles and hawks, they come in different sizes and are generally divided into three groups. The smallest and stockiest are the kestrels. One example is the American kestrel, which is only about 9 inches long and weighs 3 to 6 ounces. The second group is made up of slightly larger falcons called hobbies, as well as their relatives. Examples include the Australian hobby and the sooty falcon. Finally, we find the peregrine falcon and its relatives in a third group. Sizes of its members can vary, but you can recognize most of them by the black caps on their heads. The peregrine falcon is capable of speeds of over 200 miles per hour when it swoops down after prey, making it the fastest animal on Earth. Unlike other raptors, falcons are silent most of the time. This gives them the element of surprise over their prey. However, they will vocalize in danger or if they're trying to warn their partners of danger. Males also make different vocalizations to attract mates. Now we come to what could be the most unique raptor, the osprey. This bird is also called the fish hawk, but it is not a hawk, eagle, or falcon. The osprey is placed in a group all by itself. As its other name suggests, its diet is made up almost completely of fish. Since they enjoy fish, ospreys are a common sight around large bodies of water. Their bodies are slender and their wings are long and narrow. The osprey is quite a large raptor at 26 inches long and recognizable by its brown and white pattern. Its call is best described as a high-pitched whistle. Raptors are masters of the sky and some of the greatest hunters in the animal kingdom. Eagles, hawks, falcons, and ospreys can easily be mistaken for one another, but the next time you see one, just remember to look a little closer. Bear and I thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles. We'll see you on our next adventure.